guys welcome back to my channel so um today we are going to be learning how to make the flare dress using the natalie brace bodice book so this is my bodice book traced out already and it's just the back that's the front that's the back and the total length of this pattern is 37 37.3.75 almost 38 and the length I want is 38 inches so what I'm going to do now in order to get my flare is to slash open through the dart point through this dart point placing my ruler on the dart point so I'm going to roll straight from this that construction line to point to point X point D where did that stop the boss point to the boss point so this is a clearer view of um, the that construction line. So I'm gonna hate to trace it down. So I'm going to slash. To this point. I don't want it to flare. So I'm just going to leave it like this. But if you want it to flare, you can still slash through this point. On the boss point, you slash like this. But I don't want it to flare, so I'm going to cover this back. Take it, take it down. Take it down. So I've done that. I've already placed my Ankara in bias form. But before that, I'm still going to do the same thing to the front, to the back. I'll just slash. The reason why I'm using base is because I want to get the perfect armhole for this. I know it might just be a simple style that can be done with freehand, but I just want to get a perfect armhole for my pattern. So you can decide to do the same thing. Sorry, I have to slide this open. I don't want to open it. I don't want it to flare. Just a bit of opening. Because the person is on the big side. Don't want the flare to be too much. So this is for the back. So the next thing I'm going to do now is so like I said, my pattern, my fabric is already on the table and I've folded it in bias form. So for length 38. This is the original neckline that came with the pattern but i'm going to reduce it by one cm on the one inch on the fabric when i'm done cutting because i don't want to cut out the neckline of the pattern because i can use i still use it for other fabric and um, other outfits so this is it you make sure you place your pattern properly so that you can get your shoulder line and all that so this is this is the full length now the length is not on the fabric is not enough so this is my 38 from my neck point this is my 38 inches the sewing allowance I'm going to make it 30 39.5 using one and a half 
So you're going to place your tape through tape measure like this on the neckline on the neckline then you can use your board pin like this then you measure the amount the length of the dress Place your board pin like this. So this is my 38. It's not showing. The tape ruler on the neck line, neck point. Then you place your board pin on it. So the board pin is holding the tape rule or tape measure. Then you mark your the length of the dress. So this is 38. That's it, 39.5. Then you do the same thing. Marking 39 39.5. 39.5. 39.5. 39.5. Like I said, I don't want it too full, so this side of the fabric remaining is going to be cut out. So this is my 39.5 so far. I'm going to just connect to this. But before then, around the armhole, let me just connect this 39.5. Pin this down. I forgot to pin it down. And also just to put so this is what I'm getting from here to here. This is how far the paper can go from the CF. In order to have an accurate or equal not equal fair per fair per se, but because the front is bigger the front pattern is bigger than the back pattern so this is 2.5 here this opening here is 8 inches eight inches you can use it as a guideline for the back when you're opening or just make sure that the boss point around the boss point so I'm going to use one inch here plus my sewing allowance because I don't want the boss anyway we already have an it's in bias form so it, it has added to the bust already then one inch plus sewing allowance so I already have so what I have is one inch plus sewing allowance so we're going to sew half from here you connect to your 39.5 your length so this is it then you mark your half inch armhole um, seam allowance around your armhole so I'm doing the same thing on the shoulder so I'm marking half inch around the shoulder when you connect this is the neckline like I said I don't want to cut the pattern I'm going to remove one inch around the neckline so you can as well do that 
by putting tipping this thinning this down then mark my one inch allowance This is my one inch so it depends on what you're taking out you can as well take out half inch by the time you're done sewing when you sew you sew in half inch you end up taking out one but if i sew this i i'm going to end up taking out if i don't put allowance i'm going to end up taking out one and a half so i think i'm going to put in allowance there to make it one inch or also or another thing to do is to reduce it by half inch by the time you show you have one inch but i want to use that to be able to get the accurate measurement for my color so i'm cutting this i'm done cutting this and this is what it looks like so we're going to attach another fabric to this piece to make it equal to the other side of the, the dress so the next thing is to cut the back so I've gone ahead to pin the back to the fabric so this is what I did this is the back I had to slash this place open again I had to slash this place open then for it to be able to relax because it wasn't giving me what I want so this is it by slashing this place open the length of this side of the pattern has increased so i have placed my tip measure on the neck point of the back then here here i have um i'm trying to make sure i have exactly what i have at the back so this is 2.5 here so that I can have a balanced flare. Then of course you should take notes when you're pinning it, when you're setting the pattern, so that you don't add to your bust points. So I've pinned it on the on the CB. This is the bust point of the pattern. Bust line, I mean. So you have to be careful so that it does not you don't increase it. Because in trying to make sure that this thing aligns. If you notice this side is shooting out but since it's flare it really doesn't matter so 2.5 that's the same thing i have at the front here i've also made sure that i get the same thing i have at the back which is five points five point seven five inches five three quarter so i've gone ahead to pin it then on the side of the of the of the fa um, fabric or the dress I have 13 inches so from here I'm going to measure 13 inches then I'm going to measure one inch my boss points then connect that 13 inches downwards that way i will have a balanced flare then what i also did is to make sure i have the same amount of fabric that i folded for the front the same amount of fabric i had some space left here so i did the same thing the back pattern is smaller than the front pattern so this is what it looks like now for the hem or the length of dress this is my 38 here this is my 38 inches here then if you notice this like i said this space has increased so i have marked the 38 inches on the pattern i'm going to fold it in so that i can have the same measurement so 
marking 38 38 38 38 then um 39 and um, one and a half extra for the allowance so 39.5 all together so you just connect so this is it you connect to the side of the the dress this will cut the back this is the back and the front of the pattern now we still have add fabric to the side of the flare so this is how you're going to do this just take a fabric and make sure it's long enough to cover the many parts that is missing so you take it like this get the right side and the right side pin it together So you pin you do the same thing to the front so this is what it's going to look like by the time you pin and sew it's going to cover the circle that is the remaining part going to cover it so this is for the back we're going to do the same thing to the front then I'll cut my sleeve then the collar so we'll do the same thing to the back to the front The sleeve i want a semi fitted um, sleeve so this is what it looks like and if you need to know how to if you don't have an idea of how to cut the semi fitted sleeve um, there's a video for that so you can check and see how it's done so this is a semi fitted sleeve then, the next thing I'm going to do is to just cut the pockets and um, I'll start sewing. In order to sew this, you're going to overlock the, well, I like joining and um, overlocking before I start joining my shoulder. Then, I'm going to slash the back open about 5, C, uh, 5 inches or 4.5. For me to be able to create um to create a loop at the back it's going to have a loop at the back because it's a round color then put facing and stay on it at the back for me to do uh, for me to be able to sew that then after that i'll join my shoulder then join my the side overlock it then trim out the excess trim out the excess after joining this side of the dress that we pinned the down part that was not enough trim out the excess then we fix our pockets then the sleeve then the color will be the last thing to fix this is um the sh I'm gonna head to join the shoulder of this um, flare dress and overlock it. Then I've done the facing at the back where I have the slash. It's going to have a loop. Then this is the neckline, a bit of um, um paper stay around the neckline for the collar for it to have a balance around the collar, around the neckline. 
or even after that we are still going to take it off a bit so that it doesn't show then this is the side the side then this is what the damper looks like this is the joining so I'm going ahead to fold in one and a half inch for our seam allowance, hem allowance. So that's the inside. So I want to reduce the neckline. It's a bit high for me. So I've marked half half inch around the neckline. So I'm reducing it. So what I'm going to do is to fix the pocket, the sleeve, then also the collar. But before then, I'll show you I'll show us how to get the collar pattern. Collar. We are going to cut it in bias form. So I'm using this. I folded it into four next thing i'm going to do is to get some the radius that i'll use for this so pin this hair the length of this is three inches three inches three inches three inches so after that i'm going to measure what i have around it but i'll first of all connect the dotted lines together so I've connected them together so I've gotten the the radius I've marked it so what I have here is um, five and a half Five and a half, five point two five rather, five point two five. So I'll go ahead and mark two and a half inches from this point. Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half. This is also serve as my sewing allowance. So I'm going to connect. So make it clearer. So this is it. So you're going to cut. So after cutting we decide at the center here I'm going to slash this open. Now note because it's cut in bias form into four, it's more relaxing the way it ought to relax. And if we use it like this, we'll start having food when when we join this. Because this is the part we're joining, this is the down part. This is the down part that we're joining to the gown and this is the upper part when we join it like this to start having fold so we need to reduce this flare around the side so what i'm going to do is to slash this place open the four joints then i'll reduce the flare 
I'll try and reduce it as um I'll use half inch. Take it here. Or I'll take it this way. And I'll tip it down. I'll do the same thing to this side. This is to reduce the bulkiness around the neckline, like I said, when you're sewing it, to avoid that fold. So you can put another piece of paper underneath it and retrace this to make all these edges equal. So you can see it's not balanced because of the of the uh, of the half inch we took in. So you can take it in, put another piece of paper, then retrace this to make the circle. So this is it. Now the next thing you're going to do is to cut it on the fabric. So this is the upper part, like I said. Now, when you sew, you will have excess. This dress, this collar is going to be at the back. You have excess because this is 19. Okay. The down part. The collar. The neck of the dress is 19.5 and this is way way beyond 19.5 so by the time you're done sewing you will have excess around this neckline please note half is not a standard measurement for this i just used half so by the time i'm done sewing i will have excess here the excess will be trimmed out so this is how to get the color for the neckline so this is the color. Um, I'm going to get the center front a notch. Then do the same thing to the bodies of the of the dress. Make sure you get the center of the shoulder. Make sure align. So this is the center. Then you take this, pin it together, then you sew like this to the to the end. So this is the back. Do the same thing to the other side, and that's it.